In this video, I'm gonna go over my five recommended payment methods to use on your WooCommerce store. So whether you are just starting out with WooCommerce or you're trying to figure out the best payment method to use, I would say to start, do not overthink this. Choose a payment method that works in your country, obviously, but here are my five recommended payment methods. So if you're just starting out, I would use WooCommerce Payments or Stripe, especially if you are in one of the countries that WooCommerce Payments or Stripe supports. So WooCommerce Payments is just um, using Stripe but branding it as WooCommerce Payments. There's also some advantages of using WooCommerce Payments, but in general, you can't go wrong with using Stripe. So if you are in a country that is able to use Stripe, use Stripe. I would say that is my biggest recommendation. Now, if you aren't using Stripe or you cannot use Stripe because you know maybe you're selling something that's banned on their list, you know maybe it's firearms or maybe it's CBD or whatever it is, then I would recommend using Authorized Net. So Authorized Net allows you know some sorts of firearms and CBD. So if you're having issues with trying to find a payment method that supports what you're selling, and you know stripe and others do not allow you on their platform i would highly recommend looking at authorize.net authorize.net also supports woocommerce subscriptions so you should be all set there now the next one i'm gonna go over is square so if you are selling cbd or if you do have square already set up square is a great payment method to use they do not support selling firearms or something um, else that might be banned by Stripe and others, but they do allow to sell CBD. So Square would be for people that are selling CBD or they already are using the Square, you know, platform of apps. You know, maybe you're sell using the Square POS or anything like that. And I have tutorials on each of these um, payment methods that I'm going over right now, and I'll also link those in the description box below. Okay, so the next one is Amazon Pay. Now I always think of Amazon Pay as a good second payment method to use on your WooCommerce store. So you, you need to find a primary payment method. So if you can use Stripe, use Stripe. Um, but then using Amazon Pay or PayPal is a great add-on to allow more people to pay. Amazon Pay does not allow you to you know, sell CBD or firearms or anything like that. So if you need um, a payment method for that, you have to use authorize.net, like I mentioned before, but Amazon Pay is just a great payment method to use as a second payment method. The last payment method that I wanna go over is PayPal. So PayPal is a great payment method to use. Now this PayPal has kind of changed in recent um, months. It used to be called PayPal Standard, then they had PayPal Checkout. Now it's called PayPal Payments. So PayPal payments will allow you to use PayPal without possibly using Stripe or authorize the net as a primary payment method. But in general, a lot of people have a PayPal account. Having PayPal on your store is probably gonna boost conversion just cause it makes it easy for people to check out as a lot of people automatically have PayPal accounts. But if overall, if you're kind of confused about me calling this like primary or secondary payment methods, I would just say keep in mind that you need to find one payment method to start. You know, having someone be able to take, you know, payment by credit card using Stripe and then having also the option to use their PayPal account is why I call it a secondary payment method. But that's kind of changed because PayPal now allows you to have or pay by a card. So just in general, when in doubt, use Stripe, support subscriptions. You know, if you are doing something like such as selling CBD or firearms or something that's banned by Stripe or not in your country, check out authorize.net. If you're selling CBD, you're already on the Square platform, use Square. If you want to make it easy for people that already have Amazon Pay, use Amazon Pay. And if you're just getting started with WooCommerce, they're probably gonna aggressively try to get you to use WooCommerce payments, which is essentially Stripe rebranded as WooCommerce payments. So that's it for all the payment methods that I would recommend using. All of these support subscriptions with WooCommerce, but keep in mind that with PayPal payments, the newest update that you have to be approved for reference transactions to use PayPal payments with um, WooCommerce subscriptions. Now, 
you can apply for reference transactions, but if you're currently on PayPal standard and you haven't applied for WooCommerce transactions or reference transactions, then you can stay on PayPal standard until you figure out your next steps. So that's it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions or if this was valuable to you. When in doubt, use Stripe and use Authorize.net if you can. If you can't, if you're if what you're doing is banned by Stripe or Square, Amazon Pay, or any of those others. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace.